Most walks, uh, sometimes it's about awareness. Once you get to the end of the line, you know, sometimes you're finding, you're still trying to figure out what's going to happen after that. And the nice thing about this walk is work begins after the finish line. We know that it's not a walk for awareness, but it's a walk for a solution. And that's the that's a, that's a, that's a difference that we were trying to do here, that everybody that comes out of this uh, will be able to know how to make that change. And that's how we designed it. We followed only three rules. The first rule is that everything that, uh, that the person needs, whether they do it or they teach other pe to people to do it, they, it, it can be found in their community. Plastic bottles, water, bleach, pieces of metal to, to keep it on the roof. Second, simple carpentry skills, nothing too technical, no tools too technical. And the third is, it has to be a business. And so what happens is, uh, we teach people for 25 cents to build it and 25 cents to go up on the roof and install it. So they earn 50 cents each. And uh, we have tried it in one, with one community, and starting it with one house, one bottle, and you know, uh, basically one carpenter, uh, they have reached 10,000 uh, 10, solar bulbs. And so we've taught it to 50 other carpenters, and it's 500,000. So this thing is just growing, and you know, it, it, it's just, I'm sorry, 50,000, but uh, it's growing by leaps and bounds, and uh, it's covered almost 200,000 houses. It's gonna hit about a million in a year, but that's a nice thing. Everybody's thinking about solar panel as, you know, solar panels and windmills, but really it's not affecting, you know, more than 1% of the world. And so this one, very simple, but at the same time, from the grassroots, the other 99% can now put some kind of lighting in their house, and it's just made a difference. It's 55 to 60 watts, and the nice thing there is, for the next five years, you have zero electricity during the day, and uh, because water refracts, so it bends nicely, the whole 45 square meters of your house is well lit. So one plastic bottle, one piece of tin, a dollar twenty-five, uh, you get five years of free light. And that's what we're trying to do. If we can make that change, and so green energy and green ideas can be, you know, nothing that has to be, you know, that developing countries don't only have to wait for it, but they can come up with their own solutions to make a difference in their lives and at the same time other people's lives. So thank you. This is my first one in Boston. Uh, I'd like to thank, of course, our, organ our organizer, Jessamine Spain. Her team, please give it up. Uh, the leader of Light Team, we have uh, uh, from MIT, we have uh, Pover the Global Poverty Initiative uh, joining us. Of course, uh, we have also our team, which has been so generous. Uh, we have Gail Tan. Where's Gail Tan? Gail Tan. Yep, she's uh, Gail. Thank you, Gail. Uh, of course, we have uh, we have uh, Reggie, who also composed the song. Uh, we, we have the rest of the Filipino team. We have MIT, the MIT Filipino group, and of course, all of you. We, I, I keep on saying, you know, everybody thinks that you know it's it's big people making big changes with lots of trucks and lots of aid. But really, uh, the future really is everybody doing a little bit. Will when you add it up, will make more change than one person or one organization ever will. And we're going to prove it today. Thank you very much for joining us uh, from all our, from us. Uh, for, to you and thank you to you but really it's really one day they won't even know that we did this everybody will just presume that there was always you know a plastic bottle on the roof to give light to themselves so we, they might not even know what we did here they might not even know our name but uh, around the world if you see a plastic bottle on a roof and it's giving light well this is where it started